Hey guys, Civilian Soldier 762 here. I just got a package in today from Rifle Dynamics in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, what was in it was this US Palm AK 30. <clears throat> These US Palms are awesome magazines, I really love them. But I wanted to compare what I would consider the two top quality new production mags on the market today. You know, there's other good mags like the Bakelite mags and stuff like that, but as far as mags that are currently in production that you can get new, I'd say these these two, the Circle 10, the Bulgarian Circle 10, and the U.S. Palm AK-30 are the top two mags there are. I'm going to go over some of the things I like and dislike about them. <clears throat> I'll start out with the U.S. Palm mag. These mags here, um, they have steel in the feed or the uh, locking lug on the front and the rear locking lug steel they also have a steel cage that connects them that you know goes through here like this but however it does not go into the feed lips the feed lips aren't do not have steel in them which you know would be nice if it did but it's not really necessary I guess these mags are real high quality and durable and you know so far I've never had an issue with them and neither has anyone else that I know the only common issue that there were with these magazines, and that was in the first generation ones, was the floor plate here. It was like a an epoxy type deal that held them on, and over time that would wear and the floor plate would come off and you'd be screwed. But the new ones actually have these ears that hold the floor plate on, so it's not going anywhere. The uh, U.S. Palms. I'm not 100% sure if they have steel that goes down the spines of them. I would think they do, but I'm not going to guarantee that. And with the circle tens here, they're also a high quality polymer construction. Now they have steel that starts right down here where the floor plate connects. They have steel that goes in the spines of the magazine. They also have steel locking lugs on the front and the rear. They have steel cage that connects them, like the U.S. Palm. In addition to that, they also have steel feed lips. So these are like one big steel cage that is <coughs> put together with the polymer over it. You know, these are really high quality durable mags. Probably construction wise the circle tens are the best there are best you can get you know excellent magazine you know the floor plate comes off like a standard magazine easy to take down you know change your springs follower whatever clean the US palms um, I haven't taken any of the ones I have down but I've been told that you actually can take the floor plate off of the new ones to take them apart I haven't tried that so I'm not 100% sure, which isn't really a big deal, but uh, these mags, what I really like about these is they're so easy to insert in the gun, I mean, just like butter, you know, with most AK mags, you gotta get the angle just right and lock it in, sometimes if you're going too fast, something will hang up and bind, or, you know, these mags just every time, it's just like, right in, you, just, you can almost just go straight down with it, and it'll click right in the gun, it's just so smooth. I mean, upside down, looking through the camera, I'll see if I can do it here. Probably won't, but left-handed. It's just so easy. They just go, I mean, just like butter. I can't show you guys really like that, but it's... It's just amazing how smooth these are and how well they fit. They fit great. Um, between the two, you know, I'm not really sure. I'd say construction maybe give an edge to these a little bit. 
But as far as, you know, just user friendliness and uh, design, maybe the U.S. Palms, I like the angle of the floor plate. That also helps. Uh, they feel good. You know, to, if you're the type of guy that kind of doesn't hold your magazine but kind of uses the mag well when you shoot, or the mag when you shoot, you know, these are nice for that. They feel good. Um, these ones here, before all this panic you could get from SGC or SGUSA, I forget what it was called, for uh, $23.99 on sale, but normal price, what I think was $33.99, $34.99. So the average price places sold them for. The Circle Tens were about the same, you know, around thirty-five dollars to forty, depending where you got them from. Kvar actually still has these from time to time for forty dollars, which they've went, you know, they had went up a couple bucks since all the panic and everything, but still forty dollars for this magazine. When I've seen junk like Pro Mags for twenty bucks more than that advertised, is not a bad deal. But this magazine, I paid thirty-four ninety-nine. When I from Rifle Dynamics in Las Vegas, Jim Fuller, they uh, and that included shipping and everything. That was thirty four ninety nine to my house. Ordered it, got it within less than a week. You know that's awesome. This mag, you know these mags. Order you say you ordered it right now from Kaver for forty bucks. You're gonna add another ten dollars for shipping, so that'll be fifty dollars. You know probably gonna take a couple weeks to get it, which you know. Places are really busy right now, so you can't complain about that. But so you get fifty dollars or thirty-five dollars, and I think I would rather spend thirty-five and go with these. Not that there's anything wrong with the Circle Tens; I've got them, I love them. But right now, I just really something about these U.S. Palm mags that I really like. So if you want, check them out. Rifle Dynamics has them, thirty-four ninety-nine shipped.